In this video, I'll break down the plugins that I use as a professional WordPress freelancer. And by the way, if I had to get only one of these, it would be... Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the Digital Alchemist and in this video, I'm going to show you the plugins that I use as a professional WordPress freelancer. It will be divided in several categories, but before we get started, two things. Well, first of all, this is my opinion based on my use of those plugins. I'm a professional, experienced WordPress freelancer, so don't get offended if you use something else. This is just the tools that I use. And two, you will find links to some of these tools in the description. These are affiliate links, which means that I do get a commission if you purchase after clicking on one of my links. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps the channel. So you don't have to purchase through my link, but if you do, thank you. Customization. The first plugin I recommend is Login Press, which is a login management plugin for WordPress, but it also helps to customize the WordPress login page. Actually, on my website, this is what I'm using to customize my page, and I use it on many of my clients' websites. So I definitely recommend Login Press, and you will see it in another section in this video. Next, Admin 2020. So if you want to customize the WordPress dashboard, maybe because you're bored or just because you want to customize your customer's experience, then I believe you may be interested in Admin 2020. Uh, as you can see, it's got a very clean interface and you know I, lo I love minimalism. And you can also change the uh, mode. So here is the dark mode. I could do a video on this plugin alone and probably will do one. But in the meantime, if you want to customize the WordPress dashboard, go admin 2020. Next, user role editor. Now, user role editor is a simple plugin that allows you to create new roles or customize roles. And it's really handy, for example, if you're going to create a custom website. I did it not too long ago. Um, the client wanted to have a super admin, then admins, and different types of uh, roles. So uh, this plugin does it all. It's great, works flawlessly, at least for me at the time of recording this video. And I've been really happy with it. Now, let's talk about design and development plugins. Next, Astro Pro. Now, if you know anything about my channel, you know that I recommend the WordPress Astra theme and the free version is great. Now, being a professional, I use the pro version. Why? Because I enjoy some of the features it comes with, I enjoy the support. Um, and when it comes to features, it's got white labels, it's got WooCommerce integration, sticky header, back to top, custom layouts, and many other features. And I've created a video about that, so just check it on the channel. It also comes with ready to import websites. And even though I don't use that too much, sometimes it really can be handy when you quickly want to draft something or you need inspiration. Next, Elementor and Elementor Pro. Now, once again, if you know anything about my channel, you know that I recommend this plugin time and time again. The free version is great, but the pro version is really where the magic happens, especially the theme builder where you can customize the footer, the header, uh, you can add dynamic content and much, much more. And as you may imagine, I also created a video about that. Now, talking about Elementor, let's talk about add-on packs for Elementor. Now, I'm not saying you should get all of these. I use some of these in some project, maybe just one per project, but these are the ones that I mostly use. So the first one is Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. This is a really reliable add-on pack. There are many add-on packs, but some of these are not reliable. They're not stable. And this one I've got really good results with. And I always, always recommend to get Elementor Pro first. But once you get Elementor Pro, you may need some extra features and widgets and ultimate add-ons for Elementor has got you covered. One of my favorite features is the copy and paste cross domain. So you could copy a section from one website and just paste it on another website on another domain. Next, essential add-ons for Elementor is another great add-on pack for Elementor. It comes with a lot of widgets and features, and I've already covered that in a few videos already on the channel, but it's definitely one plugin I recommend at the time of recording this video. Next, Elementor Extras. Now, if you watch my video about Elementor add-ons, I did not mention Elementor Extras. It's just because there, there's only like a couple of widgets I really use, but I still believe it's a great, great tool. 
Next, Piotnet add-ons for Elementor, another add-on pack for Elementor. It's got some really unique features that can quickly become messy in the interface. But the good news is that you can actually deactivate anything that you don't need. So usually when I use it, once again, I'm going to use one or two features, three maximum most of the time. Next, dynamic content. I didn't use it too much up to here. I've used it only on one project, I think, but it's got some really unique features like the cursor tracker, for example, and many, many more. So once again, you're not going to use all these add-on packs at the same time, but uh, I may find some use case for this one. Next, let's talk about search. Now, WordPress comes with search built in, but it's really basic. And if you want something more advanced, there are a few plugins that you could use. So I use Jet Search. You can get it just, just a plugin, or you can get it as part of a subscription with CrocoBlock, which we'll talk about in a moment. This is really great if you're going to use the other plugins uh, within CrocoBlock. So definitely Jet Search. Now, if you want something a little bit like Amazon, where you have uh, a list on the side, you can just uh, click on one of the items and then it's going to uh, update the menu and show you the, the next in a hierarchical based view. Well, you'd be using Faceit WP. I've used it on a couple of projects. It works really well and you can integrate it with Elementor if you're using Elementor. Search WP, this is a really powerful one, but usually I use it when um, using Jet, Jet Search or Face it WP doesn't quite cut it and I need some extra features. Now, it's not because it's not better than the other ones. I just know the, the other ones better. Next, if you're going to be using Elementor and Elementor Pro, then I definitely recommend the CrocoBlock suite of tools and plugins, especially if you're a professional. Now, if you look at the products, they have so many products like 18 plugins and they have dynamic templates, design templates, interactive pop-up library and pop-up templates. This is jam-packed with value. The team is really responsive and you can ask for features. They will ask the rest of the community and if they think that's really going to add some value, you will see that feature implemented. There are so many features, so many tools I use. One of my favorite ones is Jet Engine. Next, Thrive Comments. Now, WordPress comes with comments built in, but it's kind of... Nah kind of okay, but this really takes it to the next level, especially in the back end. If you need to handle a lot of comments, it's got some shortcuts and it makes it all really easy. Next, scroll magic. Scroll magic comes with uh, uh, a lot of various effects. One of my favorite ones is the fact that you can change the color of the background when you start scrolling. So let me show you, I'll start scrolling now. And as you can see, the background color changed. Now there are many other features, but this is uh, usually what I use it for. So definitely recommend scroll magic if you need some of that eye candy. Now let's talk about search engine optimization plugins. So when it comes to SEO, I use SEO press. I used to use Yoast and I know some people use Rank Math, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm really happy with SEO Press and it plays well with other plugins in my tool set. And talking about that, the next plugin I use is Story Chief. It's a WordPress plugin linked to a service, so you need to have a Story Chief account. They have a free account, but if you want more features, of course, you're going to have to pay for it. But usually what I do is I start writing my blog post in Story Chief, and then it's automatically going to send it to my WordPress install as a draft, or you can publish right away. And I could even publish to the rest of my social media accounts straight from Story Chief. Next, Schema Pro. Now, Schema Pro is part of the Astra agency bundle. So basically, it helps you to outperform your competitors in search engine by really telling Google about each type of content. So you have a lot of content types like review, local businesses, article, service, product, course, recipe, person, job posting, software application, and so on. Now, let's talk about optimization plugins. So the first plugin I use is Perf Matters, which is a lightweight WordPress performance plugin. And basically what it does is that it increases the speed of your website by reducing HTTP requests, disabling plugins, stripping out code, and optimizing your database. And cherry on the cake, it works well with other tools in my toolset, just like WP Rocket, for example. So WP Rocket is a caching plugin. Now, if you don't know what a page caching plugin is, well, caching creates an ultra fast load time essential for improving search engine optimization and increasing conversions. Now, I'll let you Google the rest, but having tried a few uh, page caching plugins, WP Rocket is definitely top notch. 
Next, Bunny CDN. Now, Bunny CDN is a content delivery network or CDN. And basically what it does is that it's going to serve the assets of your website on servers that are closer to your end users. So if someone is browsing your website from India, it's going to serve the images and the script from the server in India, which is going to make your website faster. Bunny CDN works flawlessly and it's dirt, dirt cheap. Now, a free alternative is Jetpack. You can get the free version and it comes with a tool called Photon. Photon is like a CDN, but just for images, not for your scripts, but it works great. If you don't want to spend money on Bunny CDN, which once again is really cheap, but if you don't want to spend money, you can use Photon. Now, it comes with a lot of other features, so make sure you deactivate anything you don't need because it can quickly become bloated. Now, let's talk about video plugins. Now, the first plugin that I use is Swarmify, but Swarmify is not just a plugin, it's actually linked to a service you have to pay for. But if you use Swarmify, uh, the plugin works flawlessly. And the idea is that usually I use that for my online courses or maybe on my landing pages. Now, Swarmify is a video service and also a content delivery network. So if someone is in Australia, it's gonna serve the video from a server closest to Australia. Now, for most of my videos, I just use YouTube because most of my videos are on YouTube, but for specific use cases, I'm going to use Swarmify. For example, on uh, courses or landing pages, I'm just going to use Swarmify because I don't want ads. I don't want uh, other videos uh, being related, showing at the end. So I just want one video to be served. Next, once again, Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor because it comes with a video widget. And I really like that widget because when you start scrolling, you see the video here sticky at the bottom you can actually choose if you want it on the left or right hand side top or bottom and actually use that feature on my website next once again essential add-ons for elementor so as i start scrolling the video is going to be here on top and you can also change where you want to have it you know, it could be top bottom left right but you get the idea now let's talk about business plugins so the first plugin I'm going to talk about is called Amelia and it's also called WP Amelia. And basically it's appointments and events, WordPress booking plugins. I've had to create a few websites for my clients and they needed that kind of feature. And it's really great. It's beautiful. It's well integrated into WordPress and they got that attention to detail that I really enjoy. Next, WooCommerce. Now, most of you know WooCommerce. It's a free plugin if you want to create an e-commerce website. Now it's free, but of course, as soon as you want an extra feature, you're going to have to pay for it. But the good news is that there are many third-party add-ons. It's a great ecosystem, but sometimes it's a little bit too heavy in my opinion. Still, it's a standard in the industry and many customers want WooCommerce. Now, even though the core plugin is free, this is really a professional tool. Next, card flows. Now, Cardflows comes with a free and a pro version, but what is Cardflows? Well, it helps you to get more leads, increase conversions, and maximize profits by creating funnels linked to WooCommerce or not. It's really handy. It's well done. Now, I also use it on my website. Uh, so this is the first page, and when people click, they get to the landing page. And you can really put this in a neat way. You can get, um, you can create thank you pages. You can track everything. Next, LearnDash. So LearnDash is an LMS, which stands for Learning Management System, which is another layer on top of WordPress. It works great. I actually use LearnDash on my website for my online course, which is a free online course. And cherry on the cake, LearnDash works well with some other tools in my tool set, like Swarmify for the videos. Next, Pretty Link. So Pretty Link is what I use to create my affiliate links. Uh, so it makes it easy to put a link like casino.com forward slash Elementor Pro, for example. It's also handy if I want to create a shorter version or a rememberable version of a URL. So let's say I have a long URL for my newsletter page. Well, I could just create casino.com forward slash newsletter. Next, main WP. So main WP helps you to manage all your WordPress sites with the main WP dashboard. So basically you just have one dashboard and you can do all the maintenance operations like updating plugins, updating the themes, the core, uh, you can just do that all in one place. Now, to be honest, I don't use just one dashboard for all of my websites, but it's handy, for example, for the customers I have that have a maintenance contract with me. And cherry on the cake? It's free. Now, let's talk about client work. 
Now, as you may know, I have video consulting and mentorship services. And for that, I use Amelia once again. So basically my schedule, when people want to schedule a video call, I'm going to be using that plugin. Like I said, it's really professional and I can link it to a Google calendar. Next, Project Huddle. Now, Project Huddle is a WordPress plugin for website and design feedback. So basically, when you create a demo, instead of the constant back and forth emails, you can just use that plugin. So let's say I want to leave a comment here. Then I can actually assign it to someone if there was someone. So I can assign it here to Project Huddle. And if I want to see all the comments on this page, I can open the, the uh, side panel and I can see it here. I can interact with it. I can comment. This is a time saver. It's so, so great. Next, let's talk about membership plugins. So one plugin I've been using is WP User Frontend Pro. Now, don't be fooled by the name because you can actually create a membership website with it. Now, I'm not saying it's the best membership plugin out there, but I haven't tested that many. But it's been working for what I wanted it to do, which is to protect some pages. Now, one other tool I've been using is Digimember. So basically, the Digimember allows you to create any page into a private area or a member area on your website. And actually, the way I've been using it is with the Digistore 24 service. Sometimes WooCommerce is overkill to me, especially when you just want to sell one product, one service, and you don't want to play with all the financial uh, economic laws of the EU, the US, or whichever country you live in. So they take care of everything. They take a cut, but they take care of all the hard work. And basically what happens is when someone purchases on uh, Digistore 24, it talks to the Digimember plugin, and then it's going to create a user account right away and hand any information required like passwords, keys, and so on. Actually is the system I've been using for the Wire Mentor uh, tool that I created, which is a prototyping and wireframing tool. Shameless plug. I know. Now let's take a look at some security plugins. Once again, Login Press. Now we talked about Login Press at the beginning of this video to customize the login page, but it comes with other features such as limit login attempts, uh, hide rename login, and login redirects. Now, if you want a free alternative, but just for the limit login attempts part, you can use Loginizer. It works great. It's actually installed by default on many web hosts and it's been acquired by Softaculous recently. Next, WP Vivid. So WP Vivid is a backup and migration plugin. It comes with a free and a pro version and it's got some great features such as easy site migration, automatic backup and one click restore. So you can also automatically backup to the cloud. So Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon S3, Microsoft OneDrive, Digital Ocean Spaces, FTP and SFTP. Next, WebArc Security. Now this plugin is actually linked to the WebArc service. Now uh, it comes with a web application firewall, a security and vulnerability monitoring. It comes with security reports and alerts. So at the beginning of this video, I told you that I would recommend the plugin I would get if I only had to get one of these. And this plugin is Elementor Pro. If you need to invest, I would invest in a plugin like Elementor Pro because with it, you can create professional website that you can sell. You're going to be able to scale your business and then get the money to purchase other plugins. You can really create custom professional websites that used to cost a lot more before and take a lot more time to create. And of course, you will find the affiliate link in the description below. So I hope that you get value out of this and that it's going to help you for your next WordPress projects. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really, really, really helps growing the channel. Now, if you're not subscribed yet and you want more reviews, tips, tutorials, and a good dose of digital alchemy, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. And by the way, this video ID came from a viewer who asked, Hey, Casino, could you do a video of plugins you use in your projects? For example, plugins for SEO, forms, caching, whatever you recommend. Thanks. So if you have an ID for a video, make sure you drop it in the comments and who knows, maybe I will turn it into a future video. So that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.